Hello friends, welcome to Nantishore classes. Today's lecture is going to be very interesting because today we are going to learn a shortcut trick to find C ratio A. This trick is going to be very helpful in different competitive exams. Please check the question carefully. If A ratio B is 2 ratio 5, B ratio C is given as 3 ratio 4, we need to find C ratio A. How we can find C ratio A in the form of a trick? Very quickly, I'm going to tell you. Firstly, you should write A ratio B ratio C. This is a rough work we are doing. Do keep it in mind. It's a rough work because usually in competitive exams, you will get four options also. No need to show this task to anybody. Now, A ratio B is given as 2 ratio 5, right? So, I'm writing 2 ratio 5 here. What is B ratio C given? This is 3 ratio 4. But I am going to write it in the next line here 3 ratio 4 because B ratio C is there. So this is the data given to me. Now how will I find? See I can see there is a blank space here this one and this one two blank spaces are there. Firstly we need to fill this blank space and how would we fill it? If my first row is ending with 5 at the blank space write the same number 5 only and in the second row your this number is 3 right your row is starting from 3 and blank space is there before that so write 3 again whichever number my row was ending repeat the same number whichever number my row is starting write the same number if blank is there in the starting of the line now once all the places are filled then just do the multiplication 2 multiply 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20. See, this is what we are getting. If let's suppose you get a question to find A ratio B ratio C, then this is the answer which is written at the end. You can see 6 ratio 15 ratio 20. But in my question, they have told to find C ratio A. To find C ratio A, first of all, you should be able to understand that this is the value of A, this is the value of B and this is the value of C. So that any type of ratio comes like A ratio B if they asked, you can take two values. B ratio C they ask, you can take the next two values. Like here in this question, I am asked to find C ratio A. Now I am cleaning the board till this step. C ratio A. What is the value of C I am having? C is 20. So take 20 here. And what is the value of A? It is 6. That's it. 20 and 6 both are divisible by 2. If both are divisible by 2, then 10 ratio 3. This is the answer. C ratio is 10 ratio 3. I hope you are able to understand this trick. It seems like, you know, I have taken time because I need to explain you. But once you are clear with the concept, then quickly you will write the values and you will be able to get your answer very easily because using the basic concept, it takes time. I hope this video is helpful to you all. Thank you so much for watching this video.